If you're about to upgrade to Windows Server 2022 and you end up getting this message that the verification of the replica failed due to FRS, then you're going to need to run some commands in order to get rid of FRS, which is File Replication Service, and get on to DFS. So I'll show you quickly how to do that. I'm on a Windows 2012 server. You might be on a 2016 server. If you're on a 2019 server, this has already been done as long as it was native 2019. So I'm going to go into Tools, and I'm going to go into Active Directory Domains and Trusts. And you want to make sure whatever the lowest level domain controller you have, you're actually at that level with the forest and the domain. So I'm going to right click and choose raise forest functional level. So I'm at 2012 R2, which is what this particular server is. If you're on, again, 16, then you want to have it on 16. And I'll just make sure that, yep. So I'm at the latest level for the lowest domain controller that I have, which in this case is 2012 R2. If you have a 2012 R2 and a 2016, then you want to keep it at 2012 R2. Otherwise, you're going to ruin one of your domain controllers. All right, so now I am in PowerShell. And what I did was I, and I, I'll go ahead and copy these commands for you in the comment section. I ran a command called DFSR MIG for migrate, and I did a get global state. So what it's saying is it's not yet initialized. So that means I've got to type some more commands. So this part is actually pretty easy. You just have to wait until it's all done. If you have a lot of domain controllers, this could take eh, five or 10 minutes, but if you just have a couple, then this will take probably a few seconds. So you're gonna uh, change the get global state to set global state, and you're gonna start out with zero. Now, if you get the invalid state change requested, you can just go ahead and ignore it and just go right to one. So I hit the up arrow, change it to set global state to one, hit enter. And as long as it says succeeded at the bottom, you should be good to go. But you can also just go back to your get global state and just make sure that it says succeeded. All right, so now we're going to go back to the command and change it for, uh, from a 1 to a 2. And there we go. It says it succeeded. So, so far, we're doing great. Now I'm going to change it from a 2 to a 3. And that also says it succeeded. So now I'm going to go back to my get command. And FRS has now been eliminated. All right, so the next thing we need to do is to go to the FRS service. So just go to tools, services, and just make sure that it's stopped. It may be in manual. It may be disabled. But either way, just make sure that it's stopped. If it hasn't, you can manually stop it. So there's my file replication service. In this case, it is still running. So I'm going to choose Stop. And on a 2016 server, it's just known as file replication. It doesn't actually have the word service on it. So now I can change it to either manual or disabled. I'll just change it to manual. And uh, you can do either one. Either one works fine. Now you should be able to go back to your new domain controller and join the domain controller into this particular domain in Forest, and you'll no longer get that FSR issue. Now, make sure you've got a good backup before you do this. If you have a virtual machine, then just run a checkpoint. After everything is done, make sure you right-click on that checkpoint and choose to remove it. Otherwise, you'll end up uh, using up a lot of space and making your servers run slower and possibly cause issues in the future. But as long as everything was followed in that particular area, then you should have no issues upgrading from FRS to DFSR. Of course, no warranty in this particular video, so good luck, and I'm sure it'll be fine.